Good morning, Hornets. It's a wonderful Monday here at VCHS. We're your host, Elena. And I'm Brayden. Let's start out with today's lunch. Today, you'll be enjoying mac and cheese with smokies, broccoli, carrots, a breadstick, peaches, and a cold milk. Now, let's jump into today's celebrations with these holidays. Now, run down every top five news stories. It's Gwen and Jasmine in the morning with your top five news stories. Number one, the VCHS drama department took to the stage this past weekend for their production, A Midsummer's Night of the 80s. Number two, Sedgwick County Zoo now has five elephants that are expecting. Number three, Wichita Ascension nurses approve historic first union contract. Number four, Missouri eight-year-old caught driving car while mom slept in the back seat. Number five, Park City woman arrested for threatening to kill Presidents Joe Biden and Bill Clinton. Next, here's today's word and quote of the day. This week's word of the week is obtuse. Annoyingly extensive or slow to understand. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Henry Ford. Everyone has their own style. So let's check out, let's check out what brands you are wearing. Here is Reed Bowen. Which favorite clothing brand, Reed? Be Nike. Why? Because I wear it a lot. Valid. All right, thanks. All right, I'm here with Walker Van Watt. And uh, what's for a clothing brand, Walker? Young LA. Why? Uh, close fits better than any other brand. All right, sweet. Some of us don't like waking up in the morning. But if there was one thing that that would that could change that, what would it be? All right, I'm Miss Lang. The best thing that can happen five minutes after I wake up is I look over at my clock and I see it's only 1 a.m. I can go back to bed till 6. Hi, I'm Erin Shoemaker, and if I woke up in the morning, the best thing that could happen within the first five minutes of me waking up was I get a call that I won $5 million. Hi, I'm Nurse McDonald, and the best thing that could happen to me within the first five minutes of waking up is waking up in the Colorado mountains with elk screaming in my face. Hi, my name's Michelle Romig, and the best thing that could happen to me within the first five minutes of waking up is waking up in the Barbie dream house. The best thing that happens to me the first five minutes after waking up, I would say I fall back to sleep. So the best thing that could happen to me after the first five minutes of waking up is getting a email or a text that there's a snow day. It's still cloudy, but, but warmer than this weekend. Let's take a look at today's weather. I'm Holden McDaniel and here's your weather. Today it's going to be a windy day with a high of 75 and a low of 52. Now for a quick blast of the past, let's stop it up into the same history. Stay classy, VC. April 22nd, 1994. In New York, former President Richard Nixon dies at age 81, just days after suffering a stroke. Others may hate you, but those who hate you don't win unless you hate them. And then you destroy yourself. Nixon pursued Cold War detente and wound down America's military role in the Vietnam War. But he became the only president to resign when the Watergate scandal forced him from office. 2000. We were on the phone with them negotiating. They put us on hold, and while we were on hold, they banged on the door, they broke everything in. During a pre-dawn raid, federal agents in Miami seize Elian Gonzalez from his relative's home. The Cuban boy is later reunited with his father, and both of them return to Cuba. 1889, the Oklahoma land rush begins at noon as thousands of homesteaders rush to state claims to land in what is now the state of Oklahoma. 1970, millions of Americans concerned about the environment observe the first Earth Day. The demonstration becomes an annual event that's now observed around the world. And 1937, Get out of my way, son. You're using my oxygen. You know what I mean? Actor Jack Nicholson is born in Neptune, New Jersey. Among his movie roles, Chinatown, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, The Shining, Terms of Endearment, 
and as good as it gets. Today in History, April 22nd. Camille Bohan and the Associated Press.